All right, we're back for another episode of Sim Airport. Sorry if it comes out a little bit late. I'm trying to get it out there, but a little bit behind on the Sunday record. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get right on into it. So, we got all this going on here. I keep zooming in too far. I'm not used to the zoom in. Let's see if we can get some... Should we do some schedules, maybe? Come up here to man it. Uh, schedules. We can do staff. And we can change this to off-duty time something like that and if we can remember what our flights are so all our flights come in at 6 a.m. and they're done by 11 why don't we have oh looky there looky there see now we're gonna have to start figuring else out other stuff here right uh, we're doing an hour each time. One or more accepted flights not scheduled yet. Yeah, there it's scheduled now. Pacific. All right. We'll uh, take down the time, and then we'll be good there. All right. So we should have one, two, three, four, five. We've got five in the oh, them hours and five there as well. So 15 flights. Can't really change their schedules now because they're coming in at 3 a.m. As we can see right there. So we'll just keep it right where it is on our schedules. What we can do, if we wanted to give ourselves a little bit more room, we could do this. That would definitely help out. We may need to, in the near, we'll have to watch this too. May eventually have to add more security and all that good stuff. Just in case it starts getting crowded like it is right there. So what we'll do, sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. Um, planning, plan wall would be like right here. Let's see, we need three spaces, so. Right, one, two, three, yep. So there's three right there. So that wall would be a part of the new wall for the security. And so we'd have something like right in there. And so we can, we'd be okay right there. And that would be our security exit right there. Now, what we could do once we get all this done, what we might even do here, we could possibly expand it to that. We'll see what's going on later on. Not a, not a big expense right there to do all that, so nothing wrong with it. What we are going to need, we are definitely going to need a, uh, what is it called? Toolboxes and uh, maintenance. Maintenance, that's what it's called. I think that's going to be a 5x5 five five room. So what we'll do is we'll do that. That should definitely cover our 5x5 five five room. I'm surprised we can build it that close. Amazing. Alright. So they'll finish that and then they'll move over there and then we'll have our maintenance. Then what we need to also work on soon is another gate. Um, I was reading somewhere it's really good if we do this so we'll have to figure this part out it is standby gates researching operations and then require CO so we can do that because we got the money might put in a CO, COO's office and then at that point we could do standby gates just in case one of our airplanes for some reason gets behind I zoom in and out way too much. Let's get a dumpster over here because I've seen our trash. It's starting to fill up. We'll do two of them just to be safe. And then once we do this, uh, get all this going, we might add another gate just to help. But we'll definitely go and dismantle all that. Once we dismantle it, then we'll put the parking and get all that set up over here, too. 
or not the parking, the uh, the flooring. Maybe we can move our arcade area. I feel like you guys are watching me. I'm sitting here with my hands. We can move our arcade area over here, over here, and you guys aren't watching. I mean, you guys might be watching, but you can't see me. Here, we'll move our arcade area over here and <laughs> go from there. Pretty sure everybody's taking off and landing. Let's see, I'm trying to remember flight status. Everybody's looking good there. I think it's, I don't remember where it's at. Budget maybe? Perfect ops bonus. Ooh, first day, yes. Today's 15 planes. 13 to 15, I forget which one it is. We'll see how we do on our perfect ops. Dismantle. There's that. There's that. As soon as they get there's that. All right. I don't remember which floor we use or which floor they they gave us to use. So we will search it out. We will eventually find it. That's it right there. All right, zones maintenance. Five by five, I believe, is what it's required. Oh, look at there, five by five. I was right. All right, do that. Get a door. Staff only, of course. Put it there. Put it there. Toolbox. Used to be safe. Give them plenty. Whoop. Keep zooming out way too far. Alright. This is just a temporary situation here. Door. We're not worried about staff doors here. Office. There's that. That. And then that. Requires enclosed space, which they will get shortly. Uh, manage admin. We can hire a COO. They're really expensive, but you know. All right. So, arcade is right there. There's that. Oh, must have one arcade game. Dismantle, dismantle, dismantle. And then arcade. We don't want to build it until. All right. All right. Zones. Get rid of this zone here. Currently, we have all the bathrooms, so we're good there. I have a lot of vending machine usage. Let's see. Cafe or retail. Let's do a coffee kiosk. Can't do any of the food kiosk, or we'll have to do a kitchen, which I mean we could. This apparel stand here would get us some money too. And a newsstand. Those are good money makers. Alright. However, we do have to hire a few new people. We're, we're going to have three total. So we'll just go ahead and hire three. Because <laughs> all three of those will require someone. There we go. 
This won't really get any business going until tomorrow in the game. Let's come over here. Zones. Arcade. Let's go and get another arcade area set up. Because that one over there is packed already. Nothing wrong with that, though. We want, we want our arcades to be hopping. This here won't be busy, though, until tomorrow, like I said. Um... Phone charging station. I'll get some people around those now. Um, objects. The comfort. Do we have an ATM anywhere? Yes, we do. Okay, okay. We're good there. To me, it seems like that's a good place for it. Probably be better there than here, honestly. So we'll uh, hopefully cancel. There we go. Um, which one is it? Aircraft gate small. There we go. Gonna have to do some something with these windows here though. Sliding door. Must be placed on existing wall. Oh, we gotta build the wall first, okay. Whoops. Did we tear out the foundation somehow? Wow. Whoopsie. Door. Alright. Got that straightened out. Desk. Gate agent. Alright. I like all my gates that are in a row like this to be all labeled the same. Alright. Research. Ooh, that's a good one. Light rail transit. That'd be a good one to do. Um, that one we definitely want. We'll work on the rest of it here in a little bit. Um, we need that one. What we're going to do is we'll attach this person to this gate. Close that. Here in a little bit, uh, we'll have the research done. Um, it says 10 and a half hours, roughly. We'll have the research done, and like I said, we will uh, do a standby gate. Just to make sure. There's our COO. Okay. Like I said, just to make sure that we've got plenty of service for our airplanes to park. See, $830, $1,040, and no coffee. It delivers at midnight because we haven't uh, uh, researched that to get deliveries at any point in time. I um, think, oh, which one is it? Which one is it? Operations 2, maybe? Yeah, right here. Operations 2. So if we was to research operations too then we could have deliveries at any time also increase our buses and everything else all right nice quiet for a little bit got a delivery so we're full on coffee it's a good thing that's a good thing we're five and a half hours roughly away from having that researched yeah, we're paying a staff member to be there for like, you know, the entire day, but, you know. Uh, comfort. We're using these chairs, I think. Get a little bit more seating for them. It looked like it was full earlier, and if we're going to add another gate in the near future, 
and to help out some more. All right. So every once in a while the security seems like it gets backed up, but most of the time it seems okay. Um, which machine is this? This is the food vending machine. So they're wanting food, definitely. Let's get another vending machine. We'll do food vending. Just got to figure out where to put it. So it's about one right there. One right there and there. Okay. Maybe to help pull some people away from there and spread it out. Spread the love, right? Kind of like we did with the arcades. No one's using these arcades. Oh, yeah, someone is using these occasionally. And they're using these like crazy. Holy crap. <laughs> Sorry. What was that? Okay. I hit something with my foot down here on the floor. All right, um, this button right here, standby gates, and then we do this right here, and that is now a standby gate everywhere we have flights coming in. Like I said, yeah, we have to pay a, sing a person to sit there all day just to be safe, but the second we have one airplane not take off on time or something, we're not losing a flight because of it. So that would really be beneficial if we start adding some more gates here in the very near future. I'm thinking what we need to do is maybe we can, uh, down in here, we might change how far down we go. Put a uh, kitchen here and then put a restaurant or have the ability to have the pizza, snack stands, whatever like that. I don't think we'll need a very big kitchen. Honestly, I think that ought to be okay right there. Uh, zones, no planning. We'll clear this planning and this planning. Like I said, we'll put a kitchen here. Might even do the cafe. I'm not sure. Or we'll go ahead and... How much is that going to cost us? Yeah, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, planning. We'll go ahead and get rid of that and that. Okay. That'll help out. See, I've thought about doing like the remote gates. Or the bus gates, sorry. Come right here, uh, aircraft gate remote. We could even do large if we really wanted to, but I'm not going to yet. But we can get that, and at that point we could do, where is it at? Have to get a, um, see we do remote bus stop. And then after that, we get some, um, I've done it once, I'd have to remember how to set it up. But I think we got to have a gate per bus stop. And then I forget if we can use the same, you know, entrance to the terminal. I think we can. So that would be perfect. At one point I thought we, they changed it to where we could... See, we actually got a plane right here. Um, do we have one to part later or something? Nope, it showed up early. Okay. That's going to be my guess anyway. It showed up early. But, hey, this, that, that's the benefit here of having both of these plane stands. The plane showed up early, and so we was able to take care of the passengers still.
See, that's as far as I'm going to take it is right there. Alright, let's set up the kitchen. Gotta have kitchen storage. Where's your refrigerator? There it is. Refrigerator. I don't quite know. I don't think there's a lot, honestly. There's kitchen sink. Where's the stove? Definitely gonna need a hot box. Pizza oven. Where is the stove? Or oven? No. Alright, objects cafe. Cooker! Would have never guessed that. Alright. Prep cart. Need that. Alright, there we go. Watch it tell me I'll put go to put the kitchen in. And it'd be like, you gotta have this big of a kitchen. And mine won't be the right. This four by four? Yeah, guess what? <laughs> what did I tell you? It would tell me I would have the wrong spots. Alright. Yeah, we'll just do it that way. Room for expansion. How about that, y'all? Cooker. Everything else is under kitchen. Cancel. Oh, uh, prep. Prep. That's what we need. Um. Where is it? Okay, I don't know. I must have been thinking something else. Hot plate prep cart. Okay. There's that door. Because it'll be employee only. Dismantle, dismantle. All right, objects cafe. See, here's the one that always gets me: the hot food display. Does it go like that or like that? Cause see, that's the way it looks like it should go. Just my personal opinion, you know. See, that kind of looks like it should go. But it also looks like that would be where they'd get the food from. So I always have a hard time with that one. We'll keep an eye on it. It's probably going to be the other way. Right, there's our coffee machine, our soda machine. Alright. Then we can... Take care of some tables here. Get some chairs. And then we got a pizza oven so we can go retail. We can do pizza joint. Just like that. And then we'll come down here to zones, cafe. We've got that set. Assigned to 
that kitchen. Of course, we don't have any staff yet. Sign to that kitchen. Close. All right. We need one cook. And two retail workers. All right. Floors. And we will put all these floors in here, there, and here. We're staying at the $100,000 mark, which is just where I'd like to stay at least. I don't want to go below that if I can help it. Above it, it's even better. All the flights are doing good today. We've not had to use the standby gate at all. Let's see, a kitchen could not fill. Okay. Of course it couldn't. We don't have any food. I think we're going to have to turn these around here in a minute, but we'll see. I think we're going to get ready to do that so we can have the extra. I'd like to start getting an extra gate or two out this way. I'm going to guess this little a kitchen could not fulfill. We're not even going to erase it because no point in it. Here shortly we should get a delivery and then the cook can start serving up some food. Got some food delivered. Let's keep an eye on the hot box here. So it looks like they're picking it up and just going straight over here. So I think we'll be all right. Now we'll go ahead and clear that because now. I think we're all good. Alright. So, for anyone that hasn't played the game, right here where this fence is, we have to be really careful how we take care of that. You'll notice I will not close the fence area with the whole building because then it would shut the whole airport down. It's weird the way that situation happens. It's like, don't destroy the fence building people. But as soon as we have all that done, it'll be just like nothing ever happened. We're taking care of all this so we can go ahead and clear the planning situation out. As soon as I get that, I think we're good right there. We did go a little bit below the $100,000 mark, but it won't be for long. But hey everybody, that has been our episode of Ready to Fly with me. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry it came out late. Um, it should be out on Sunday, but it'll probably be a little late. Um, September 11th, 2022. I'll catch you guys. Everybody, I mean, I, I'm still a new channel, so not had a lot of people watching, but 50 people watch this, or 50 views is what I've seen. 50 or 53 last time I checked on last Sundays. So I think I'm going to definitely keep it running on Sundays. Hope you guys continue to watch. Thank you for watching as well. Please like and subscribe, and we will catch you next Sunday.